So in February of 2019, I was presented with a once in a lifetime opportunity through my good buddy Mason from Vertex FX. And that was to attend a private friends and family John Mayer rehearsal show. Insane, right? At the time, the band was gearing up for what would eventually be the 2019 World Tour. And they held every Friday a friends and family rehearsal show, essentially a full set top to bottom at Henson Recording Studio for an audience of about 100, 150 people at max, maybe. So it was insane. And while there, we were granted the opportunity to take photos with whatever we wanted to, you know? So as you'll see, I took photos with John's starting rig at the time, which was his Super Eagle with the Two Rock John Mayer amp, as well as a Dumble Steel String Singer, which was my first time seeing one of those amps in person. The one photo we were able to take but not share was a photo of his pedal board. Now his pedal board, you know, at the time had a lot of the main stuff, right? Um, Aquapus, Klon, Tube Screamer, Katana, had a compression pedal, which was kind of odd to see. But it also had a pedal that until then I had never heard of. And that was the Sakashita Smoky Signal Tubeless Overdrive pedal, which, is a weird one for him because at that rehearsal that's probably the only time he's had it at least to our knowledge on his pedal board there is no real concrete evidence or song evidence to say he used this pedal on that specific song so it remains a mystery so in today's video we'll take a brief look into the smoky signal tubeless overdrive pedal so let's go. John, you know, is he's like us. He's a gear nerd, always tweaking, whether it's amps, pedals, guitars, pickups, everything, right? Always trying to find the right sound. And we can see that through an account like John Mayer Gear, for example, on Instagram, right? Tweaking pedals during shows, right? Changing the overdrive, changing reverb, delay, what goes in the third overdrive spot on his pedal board, for example. And the Smoky Signal Overdrive is no different, right? This is a pedal that, to our knowledge, only appeared on this rehearsal pedal board. And even so, we have no concrete evidence of when it was used, what song, what solo, etc. Through my friend groups, you know, we thought it was used for the live tone of I guess I just feel like during the rehearsal. But that was quickly debunked when we realized it was the Shania FX psychedelic fuzz machine that provided um, that effect. He had on his pedal board a psych loop, which engaged that effect. Which, I guess, you know, for a lot of us begs the question, what does this smoky signal sound like? So with that being said, let's dive into some more tones. Cool, all plugged up and ready to go. I got my 
John Mayer PRS Silver Sky running through my pedal board with the Smoky Signal tubeless overdrive. I do want to mention it's the EL84 version of this pedal. That's running into my Wellagen Overdrive Special on the clean channel with a Carey Wright 1x12 cabinet going to Luna and then going to you. Here is clean tone neck pickup. <laughs> Super clean, big clean tone. Let's go to the middle pickup. Check this out. Cool, so it definitely has its own thing going on. You know, it's not as nasally as, let's say, a tube screamer, but it still has a smooth top end and a bit of bottom, which I really like, and a smooth mid-range. What a characteristic Zen Drive-esque, not really, but it does have a unique character to it. Now, I'm not running the pedal in drastic settings. I have level at 11 o'clock, gain at about one o'clock, and tone straight up at 12 o'clock. And it's giving me a nice creamy overdrive. Is there a scenario where I see, you know, this type of sound in a John Mayer scenario? Of course especially for, I guess we call it the third overdrive, the more heavy saturated overdrive. I definitely see a place where this pedal could have a place in the future, you know? So check some more tones out. Stay in the middle pickup, clean. So it's a really cool pedal. 
it does take, you know, a bit of tweaking, but I do believe that once it's settled in, whether for Strat or humbuckers, you know, it's very much a set and forget type of overdrive when introduced properly into your rig. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video. A brief deep dive into the world of the Smoky Signal tubeless overdrive. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.